Hello everyone, my name is Shamdhavi and today we are going to make a game in which basically what will be the things that uh, you will be needing to guess a number. So that is a, basically a guessing a number game, right? In that basically what will we do, just let me quickly give you an idea about that, right? So we will be just having that, uh, like I would just giving a random value, let's say a random value is between 1 to 10, okay? Now, in that case, you would be entering any value between 1 to 10, right? Let's say it is entered 2. So, that random value computer will detect on its own, right? You just need to check out that value. You will not be able to see that value in the output whenever you will just come. So, in that case, what you will get, you will just get, uh, you will just, let's say you just wrote 2. It will show that you are approximately near to the value what the random value has been generated by your program or you are just too far away from that value which has been generated using your program. Let's say you are too far from that value. So it will show you that it will just uh, like give you a message that you are too far from the value. Now next chance would come. Let's say you entered 5. In that case now let's say you are just a little bit of near to the value random value that has been generated using the program. Now it will show you that, okay, you are near to your value. And let's say in the third attempt, you just wrote it. And that is the random value which has been generated by your program. So it will show you that, okay, yes, you just win this match and this program. And this was the number which has been generated by your program using the random variable, right? So this is the whole idea about this random number game, right? In that basically, we will be just guessing a number and we just will be just letting, uh, we'll just get to know that are you just close to that number or still you are very far away from that number fine so let's quote that whole concept whatever i have just explained so as i was just telling you the thing that what is going to happen in the program so some of you must have thought a proper logic that okay this logic if i just if i just apply that logic then i would just get the whole program and this would work definitely fine so right so now, now just what are we all just waiting for? Let's quickly go and implement the logic, whatever we have thought for this program. And let's take that basically what happens at the last part. Is our logic fine? Or we just need to make some changes in that. Fine. So firstly, I just mentioned that you were just needing a random number. So for that random number, we would be needing to import a module, right? Now that module name is obviously the random module, right? So what is that random module? So random module is a module in which basically you just give a particular limit for a number. Let me just firstly import that. So I would just write import and then I would just write here as random. Now what it basically does, it basically uh, here you just give a particular range that you want a random number from this range to this range. Let's say the range is 1 to 100. Now it will automatically generate some random numbers according to your program. Either it, it can generate any random number of its choice. Your program, this random module will generate any number of its choice. It can be 1 also and it can be 99 also. That you don't, right? So that is the idea that you need to guess that number. Whatever has been generated using this random module, fine. Now here I would just put a comment and I would just write that basically uh, what is the range that we are just wanted to create, right? So I would just write to create to create a range uh, of random numbers of random numbers between let's say the values which we are taking is between 1 to 10 only right we'll just not go too much far in this basically pro program in this game let's take it to 1 to 10 only first, first give it a hit and trial and after that we'll just change this to whatever range you want fine let's say the range is 1 to 10 only now what next I have? So here I would just take a particular variable. Now in this variable I would use my random module and from that random word module I would just use a particular uh, function for the random for generating a random integers. Okay. So n is equal to here I would just write random dot rand range. Okay. R a n d rand and straight. So this is basically a function which is used fix a particular range and then your number will be generated into this much range only let's say my range is 1 to 10 okay i would just not exceed too much let's say let it be 1 to 10 or let's say let it be 1 to 20 not more than 20 fine because this is a like uh, first we're just giving a trial for it fine 
so i have just stored this random number whatever it will be generated between 1 to 20 i will just make the changes or make it to 20 here so it will be stored in the vary in the variable that is n okay now here i would just take a like i would just take a variable to take the user's input right now that number has been generated now the turn comes for the user to like uh, write any guessing number here let's say user wrote 50 so now it will just tell me that are you too much far from the number that had that random number that has been generated or are you just very near to the random number that has been generated for so for that i would just take a variable right so i would just take a let's say my variable is guess underscore value okay guess underscore value is the variable in which i would be taking the input from the user now we are just dealing all the things with the numbers with the numbers right with the integer so in that case i would be wanting my input in the integer format right so i would just write here int in the bracket i would write int input and in the bracket i would just now write enter any number so enter any number right so int input enter in the number so that means i want the number into the integer format right so in python if i just want the number in any format in any specific format that is integer or float so basically we just define it before this input function that in what format you just want your input fine now here i would just start applying my conditions now here i would just apply my condition if n n is my variable in which i have stored my random number if n not equal to guess underscore value okay just one second just let me make this not equal to and these two closer to each other fine so why n not equal to guess underscore value so basically if your condition does not satisfy basically if the value which has been randomly chosen is not equal to the guess value right the value which you have guessed if they both are not equal then what do then what to do then just go inside this loop now inside this loop what we are just trying to do i just mentioned in the starting when i just explained that what game we are just gonna make i just explained that it is a game in which if you are far away from the number it will just take you it will just tell you that you are too much far away from the number the random number that has been generated fine and if you are close to that number then it will show you that okay the random number that you have generated you have you are basically close to that particular number right so for that we will be using the print statements and we will be using some conditions also my first condition would be if guess is, is smaller than n. So in guess what is basically what we have stored. In guess what I have stored in guess value. Okay, so I would just write guess underscore value. So here I have stored the value that the user has written. Okay, and in n what I have stored in I have stored the random value. Now, if my random value sorry if my guess value is less than my random value okay let's just see here what i am writing if guess underscore value is less than n okay now if the value which i have written is less than the value which is randomly generated using my program then what to do then again ask the user for the input okay now again ask the user for the input because that now that value is not equal right that is smaller fine now again as a user for input so i would just put a uh, comment here and here i would just write that um, ask user for input for input fine. i would just give it a tab yeah now here i would just write again i would just write this underscore value is equal to again i would just take the integer input from the user so int input and here i would just write enter a number right so i would just hold on let i'm just showing you for a while um yeah so here i would just write enter a number and okay i would just go down fine so if the number which has been entered by me is less than the random number that has been generated then again this guess value will come and it will ask me to enter any other number enter any okay i would just write any other number fine now what next 
Now, if my do, uh, sorry, if my guess value is greater than n, first condition we have just put that if the value which I am guessing that is less than the random value which is generated. Now, second condition, if the the value that is randomly generated is less than my guess value, basically if my guess value is now greater, okay, so I would just write l if guess value is greater than uh it's greater than n okay then what to do then print here that the value which you have entered that is too much far i would just write here too much far so that means that you have gone very far from the value from the random value that has been generated here fine so i would just okay uh fine i would just give it a try here i would just go here and I just want some space so that I can just even write the comment also, right? So that you can just analyze write the code. It is properly clear to everyone. Fine. So here I would just write if guess underscore value is greater is greater than n. Okay, n is the randomly generated value. So here one i is one. Fine. So that is the whole case, right? The second my condition is that if the guess value is greater than n so basically if the value whatever i have guessed is this the uh, like if greater than n then firstly print me that too much far and then again ask the user for input so ask user for input okay so it will ask you till the point you are not exactly to that value which is randomly generated fine so ask user for input so here I would again take that same variable that is guess underscore value. I would just write equal to int input and here I would just write again enter another. Uh, okay, I would just write enter any other number. Fine, enter any other number. And again I would just come down. Fine, so if my guess value is greater than and if these conditions are not satisfied basically if my guess value and my n value are equal to each other so here i would just go down and i would just put a comment and here i would just write if this underscore value and n value are equal to each other okay if these are equal to each other then what to do so here i would just write else okay so firstly we have used the if condition then we have used the elif condition and then we are just using the else condition and here i would just break the statement okay and after breaking the statement i would just come out of my loop and here i would just write now print it that hooray uh hooray you guessed Okay, so I would just write one you. You guessed the correct value. Uh, let me just go down and check my spellings right here. Okay, so yeah, I was just writing some wrong spellings. So, hooray, you guessed the correct value, right? So here, let me just quickly explain you that what I have just done right now. Okay, I have just imported a random module, right? So in that random module, what I just want, I just want a particular range. I want to give a particular range that give me only the numbers from this range till this range okay so in that case i have taken this rand range variable function sorry that's a function okay and inside the brackets i have just passed the value that is 1 comma 20. So let's say for now i would just take as 10 because i just need to demonstrate the output also right so in that case i'm just taking as 10. now here guess underscore value is one of my variables in which i am storing my users input fine now here while n not equal to guess value so first condition that if the value that has been entered by the user is not equal to the value that has been generated by your program using the random model now listen to me very 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 carefully right now okay because this is the whole crux about the program this is the whole the main concept about the program if you just got this thing then there's nothing left in this game okay listen to me i'm just again repeating that so while 
the value which has been entered by the user is not equal to the value that has been randomly generated by my program using the random value then go inside this while condition so it got inside that while condition now inside this it gets some more condition my first condition is if the value input by the user is less than the randomly generated value then again ask the user to input some more values fine and even you can just write here also you can just print here also right i would just write print and i would just write here print uh too much far so i would just write here too much and what what's away for far far and then away basically too much low i would just write low fine let it be fine and then guess the value again guess the value and now if this first condition does not satisfy and second condition if if my value that has been entered by the user is greater than the value that has been randomly generated by my program then firstly print me that too much far and then again ask me to enter a new value and if these two conditions are not satisfied then break my program basically break the control of the statement and come out of my program and print me that hooray you guess the correct value fine now just let's quickly run this program for a while and let's see that basically what happens let me just enter any number here let's say the number which i entered is 4 now we'll see what it just displayed me it displayed me too much low basically i need to increase my number of my value of the number whatever i have entered let's say i just entered 6 here now it is telling me that you are too much far from the value so between 4 and 6 what is the value 5 i entered 5 and it gave me that hooray you guess the correct value fine let let's try this one more time and now let's take the range from 1 to 20 okay now just let me run it once more fine now it is asking me to enter a number let's say the number okay hold on oh uh, yeah let's see the number which i just entered here is let's say 12 so it is now saying me that the number you have entered is too much low so that means now let me just explain this thing while the program only too much low fine so for too much low what condition we have given if guess value is less than n so basically that means i need to input some greater value from 12 because my condition was that if the value which i have entered if that is less than the random value that is generated then print me too much low so now it is printing me too much low so that means i have inputted a low value than the random value that has been generated so let's say i just input 15 here it is again showing me that too much low basically i again need to input some greater value let's say i just entered 80 again it is showing me too much low let's say i just entered 90 so 19 was the number and after i just printed 19 it showed me that hooray you guess the correct value fine i hope you just got the idea that how you can just code a very simple program without using any hi fi libraries or without using any library now you can just convert this game into a gui right you can just make it into a gui application and just use it but if you just don't want to use any particular library then this is the procedure that how you can just make a very simple program a very simple game even without having the knowledge of libraries also here what i just use i only use the normal uh, random uh, module i only use the if else and elif condition i use the while loop and i use the user input other than this i haven't used any fifth thing right so this is the idea that basically how you can just make your programs how you can just make your games easy and now after this conversion converging into gui that is other thing right that you can just use your tick inter modules and do that thing that is okay but if you just want to make any simple project simple program so this is the best way which you can just use your python concepts and make these types of programs right so i hope you just made the whole program with me and if you haven't made that so what are you right now waiting for quickly go and open your pycharm ides and code this program and check out that basically at what time you're just getting your correct values right so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye